Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Here with the one and only Bernard Hopkins. Now, Bernard, talk to us about the importance of having LA Fight Club here because you have LA-based fighters. Uh, it's a really great event. Walk us through it. Well, first, I think it's exciting. I think it's also um, for the crowd that for some reason or timing or work schedules that they can't make the big fights. And now they get fights in a nice um, sort of close surrounding where it's comfortable. It's two or three levels. Well, at least two levels, and it's right on top of the fights. Right. You know, this reminds me of the Blue Horizon in L.A. You know, we have a, we have the Blue Horizon in Philadelphia <laughs> Tuesday Night Fights. I mean, it, it literally is scary because it looks just like the setup. So, you know, past that is having the fights that people want to see, and it's exciting. We've just seen young versus, uh, I could say, uh, middle age, right. not old. <laughs> and you've seen a 36, 37-year-old guy really put his all into it and look, came out here with a draw. That's like a victory yeah. against a guy that's not even 22 years old. When you have fights like this in L.A., locally like this, not a big venue, not the Staples Center, not the Forum, but a venue where people can come and enjoy themselves and realize that they can see the next stars, right. the next champions in a venue like this where they don't have to get a mortgage to come here <laughs> or break the bank. You like that, right? Get a mortgage to come here. So, and the fights are good. That's, and, and the place is packed. Um, that's what we want to do at Golden Boy. Can't speak for everybody else. We hope they do the same. Right. Um, so, we want to continue to do this. I don't know if it's going to be monthly, but I know it's going to be more done than, than none. And that's, that's, that's positive. Do you have these connections with these young fighters that are looking for success, looking to become a champion? Like yourself, it took some time to finally get recognized uh, Hall of Fame uh, credentials as one of the best fighters to ever grace this planet of ours. Yes, I am the OG, the old godfather, um, to be able to um, guide them or give them lessons of what to do and what not to do. And you know, I don't go around preaching or forcing them. Um, majority of them ask questions. And it's my duty and definitely honor to give it to them. Right. Whether they're from Golden Boy Stable or anyone else stable, life skills, life answers and life questions. Hey, if I have the knowledge to give it to them and I don't give it to them, I think that's more of a wrong than not having than having knowledge and not give it when they ask for it. So yeah, I mean, but you know, our fighters are priority. Our fighters that's under our banner is my first priority to be able to let them understand that if you want to be great, you gotta dare to be great. And being a champion and being great is two different tasks, two different work ethics and two different mindsets. So it's one stage, then it's another. And my last question, because I know you're on a time schedule here. A lot of fight fans are asking the same thing I'm gonna ask you. I will be fighting in 40 years now. <laughs> you will? Yes. Where, where will this fight be taking place? I love the fight where the stars fight. <laughs> well, where exactly? LA. LA? I love to yeah? fight here. Yeah, I love to fight here based on a star, maybe somewhere in the boxing hall of fame on the ground Big somewhere. Name? Um, a name that's respectful. Okay. Yeah. Looking forward yep. to that. Yep. Because it, it, to go in there without someone that's a threat and don't have a name, to me, is is is, is, is not. It's, it hasn't been me, and it won't be me at this late in the game. But I will fight before the year is out. People will know. It will get announced, and they're gonna be excited, and I will be excited. I will be excited. And like I said. It will be in a place where people will fly to come 
and I wouldn't mind if it's here in LA. Nard, if you can say in a few words, will Canelo versus Triple G take place next year in September? I hope it will. I hope it will because I think the fans want to see it, and I want to see it. It's a fight that won't save boxing, but it will give it a lot more credibility of any suspicions that we can't make big fights until it's too late. <laughs> and hopefully it won't be too late. Well, we look forward to uh, Golden Boy Promotions putting together great fights as they always do. We look forward to your final fight, hopefully here in LA, so I get to see it. And Canelo versus Triple G. I like what you said. <laughs> final. Final one. Thank you, Bernard. Always a pleasure, my man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.